Hey everybody, this is Dan Gandy from The Operative Group out here on the beautiful west coast of Eugene, Oregon. And today we're gonna talk about why I only invest in blue states. Now, I'm getting some weed whacker uh, action over here on one of my neighbors. So I'm gonna move this video over to a new spot. But before we do that, please like, subscribe, please comment below on how stupid I am and why I should invest in only red states because I wanna hear what you have to say. But at the end of the day, it's all about making money as a real estate investor. So let's dig into this guys. One of the number one reasons why I only invest in blue states is I have less beginners to compete with. And what beginners really do is they write stupid offers on property. They write over asking offers on investment property because they don't know how to underwrite. They don't know what an APOD is. They don't know how to look at their numbers. They don't know cash on cash return. They don't know gross rent multipliers. They don't know cap rates. They don't know price per units in the market. They invest with emotion and not with numbers in mind. And what that really does in a red state is it leads to more offers on properties and you end up paying more per ratio of units that you purchase. And so in blue states, what we see is yes, there's still that going on to some degree, but we get more seasoned investors that need a higher acquisition cost to get into the game. And why I really like that is it allows us to really sort through the investment properties and get the deals that we want to get done either off market or on market without having to compete with stupid offers or volume of investors competing with us. Second reason why I only invest in blue states is that you have to really understand tenant law. And what that means is that if you're acquiring properties, you're going to serve remodeling evictions, you're going to work through the process of paying cash for keys or paying relocation fees, it's typically going to involve a savvier investor who has to really strategically run the numbers and be very fluid on their repositioning plan. And what that really means is that you have higher profit potential, you have higher appreciation velocity in most cases, not always. But what that means is that competition is a more seasoned, more strategic investor. And why I really like that is it allows me to really work and navigate through these repositioning plans, whether it's multifamily, commercial real estate, mobile home parks, and know that I'm going to typically have to navigate a pretty big battlefield. And what that's going to do is when I get that property repositioned and I clean up the issues, I typically can resell that property for a higher valuation. Now, you can argue that with red states, I get it. But the number three reason why I only invest in blue states is our scenery, our landmarkness, and our vacation spots, right? On the West Coast, we have mountains, deserts, beaches, big cities, beautiful landscapes, very diverse areas in which attract different types of rental properties from short-term rentals all the way to buy and hold ocean view properties luxury properties guys let's just talk about it all these blue states have a higher price per unit more expensive price per square foot but also have higher demand for retirees they have higher demand or vacationers. So there's more diverse options for investing versus just multifamily, buy and hold rentals or fix and flip. Now, the number four reason why I really, really love investing in blue states is it's in my backyard. I can get in my truck. We have a six hour rule. If we can get to the project within six hours, we'll do it. It allows us to have more eyes on the ground no matter if our property manager is already managing the property, we can look at it, we can touch it, we can see it, we can do what we need to do quickly and pivot. We don't need to get on an airplane, we don't have to deal with delays, we don't have to deal with trusting somebody else to manage our assets. Now, you can make tons of money out of state, we all do, but that is one of the reasons why we have the six hour rule and one of the reasons why I only invest in Oregon or Washington or California. Now. Number five reason why I only invest in blue states is with very, very, very higher, sorry, sorry, let me back up. With very, very, very high acquisition costs, low cap rates, you have a more predictable return once you start getting in properties in the A and B assets. Uh, and what I mean by that is that these assets when managed well are going to return well because 
demand for rentals is very high and inventory is extremely low. If you go to a state like Texas where they're building 10,000 homes a, a month, eventually that's gonna catch up and there's going to be enough supply for the demand there. But out here where we have urban growth boundaries, we have cities that are only allowing uh, builders to go up, that price of acquisition is essentially gonna continue to increase because supply and demand are so far off kilter. And I really, really, really wanna stress that guys, you can make a lot of money in red states, especially at states that are booming like Austin, Texas, Raleigh, North Carolina, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Nashville, Tennessee. I mean, Cincinnati, Ohio, we can go down a whole entire list of states that are red that you can make a ton of money. But what we see on the West Coast is that we have a supply and demand issue. I think it was in Austin, uh, I was watching a podcast a couple minutes ago and Austin had 9,000 listings that were currently available within you know, an hour radius. In the Silicon Valley, there were 673 for the exact same amount of people. That is a supply and demand issue. And that is why I say blue states are definitely going to be a long-term, higher appreciating asset typically, even if things shift, even if migration or net migration changes, even if laws get stricter, you're going to see the supply and demand issue increase because people don't stop having babies. And I just wanted to say, one of the number one reasons why we like these states that have higher uh, tenant law protection is it leads to a higher percentage of tired landlords. It leads to tired landlords selling distressed rentals, which allows us to lower our acquisition costs and give ourselves more repositioning potential. But also what it does, it allows us to go into markets where owner financing is typically gonna be happening at a higher probability. Why? Because people own properties free and clear, but they don't wanna put roofs on them. They don't wanna do what they need to do in order to appraise, but they're willing to sell those properties on notes, remove themselves from being a landlord and start getting mailbox money for years to come. So one of our biggest advantages of only investing in blue states is that we see more owner financing types of transactions. We have less offer competition. We have more supply and demand uh, offset. We see better appreciation velocity. We see A and B assets holding their value and returning at a better rate. And we see more people vacationing there. We see more people buying there. We see people more re relocating there for jobs because opportunities, landscapes, beauty, and all of this equation on the blue states is leading to a better, more fluid real estate market. When you live out in the middle of a cornfield or you live somewhere where it's 99.9% .9 humidity every day, it gets old after a while, guys. But what we see here on the West Coast, Washington, Oregon, California, and several other states, including Colorado, is that these blue states are operating at a better margin overall for every investor across the board. Guys, you can argue me that Florida, New York, North Carolina, South Carolina, Texas is making people millions and billions of other dollars, but this is what we're seeing here on the West Coast. That 1% rule that never works is pushing out investors that we're gonna flood this market with money, but it's allowing more lucrative, op lucrative opportunities because we're willing to invest at a half percent rule. We're willing to make a little bit less margin for better appreciation. Our cash flow per door is lower, but we're making 100, 200, $300,000 in equity quicker. Guys, especially with new construction, especially with development, especially with project repositioning, value add, forced appreciation, better opportunity in blue states in my opinion. If you have any questions, if you wanna hate on me, comment below, but this is why I only invest in blue states. If you wanna invest in a blue state, please hit me up. Hit me up in the DMs on Instagram at Oregon Real Estate Expert. To call, text me 458-209-0163. And by the way, I have no problem investing in real estates, but I just wanted to make you think.